Welcome, TCC students. We are so glad that you have chosen to join us in spring 2021. We know that uh, this past year has been full of lots of challenges, and we just applaud your perseverance and your dedication to your um, academic journey. And so today I have the privilege uh, to, to spend a few minutes with you helping you understand the topic of pathways. So let me first introduce myself. My name is Sherry Rowland and I have the privilege to serve as the Vice President for Student Affairs. And so that really means that I am your Vice President. I am the one uh, who listens and tries to, to ensure that your experience at TCC is the best that it can be. And so one of the things that we felt was important for students to know as we launch into our spring welcome week is what is pathways? And so this topic today we're going to talk about, we have three outcomes. What is pathways? Why are we talking about pathways? And then what do you need to know about pathways as a student at TCC? So let's get started. Ever feel like your college experience, even as a new student or even as a returner, um, is like trying to navigate a forest with no path or map? There's so many classes you need to take, so many options, uh, worrying about whether you're, you're going in the right direction. Or do you ever get that brain freeze from all the different course options to choose from just to earn three credits? So we tell you you need um, a social science requirement and then we give you a list of 15 or 20 courses to choose from. We all know sometimes too many choices can mean it's very difficult to make decisions. So the idea behind Guided Pathways, as this quote says, is really straightforward. The research has shown that college students are more likely to complete a degree in a timely fashion if on the front end, they choose a program, develop an academic plan, know exactly the courses that they need to take to get to that credential, and then they receive guidance and support along the way. So in a nutshell, that is what Pathways is. But now let's really kind of get into why the Pathways movement um, has occurred across the country. Because these are things as a student, you will want to kind of have in mind as you begin to think about designing your pathway at TCC. Oftentimes in colleges across the country, in, in, the, in the older model of how we were designed, we had academic programs that led to degrees, but it was unclear as to which degrees lead you to high wage jobs that lead you into earning credentials that help you be um, employable while you're working towards maybe a two-year degree. A lot of times those degrees allowed students to take a lot of electives that then when they got to the university weren't needed for their major or need, they need, needed to take other courses because they had not developed a clear path. Sometimes we've not done a really good job of helping you as a student explore your career interest and think about what it is you want to do after college. College is just the method to get you to an ultimate goal of a job and where you see yourself in a few years. Hadn't always done a great job of monitoring students' progress when you go off that path and help get you back on. You might take a detour. So how do we get you back onto that pathway that gets you to your goal? And then oftentimes students have felt like that they're really not engaged in their learning experience. They're there, they sit in a class, but they don't understand what is the relevance? How does that relate to what I'm going to be doing when I get into a job? So the redesign movement for guided pathways is really all about how do we help you as a student get to your end goal? So instead of starting with where do you want to go and where do you think you might want to major in, it's really doing front end career exploration that says, where do you see yourself five, 10 years down in a job, um, job market? What types of experiences do you want to have? What type of income do you want to make 
um, to sustain your lifestyle and to live um, and support a family in the future or, or yourself as you continue to advance in a career. Help, helping you get on that path. So again, that career exploration and then building out the most efficient and effective way to get you from first semester to the end on completion. And then keeping you on that path, ensuring that we have the classes that you need, that you are being successful in those classes if you get off track, helping you get back on in the most efficient manner to get you to a timely um, program completion. And then last but not least, make sure you're learning and having a great experience. How can we embed study abroad, uh, job shadowing, internships, volunteerism, uh, clubs and organizations, everything that really enriches your student experience and then helps you be able that when you leave here to demonstrate what you have learned um, as a part of your degree program. So what do you need to know as a student about TCC Pathways? And I'm going to say it's as easy as one, two, three. Number one, use our TCC career resources to explore careers and majors that lead to good jobs. So one example of the resource at TCC is we have a virtual job shadowing program, which you see here on the screen through our uh, Career Center website that actually allows you online to pick some things you're interested in and be able to see what's a day in the life like in this field. Where are the jobs across the country? Where do I want to live? What would I like to make as a salary? So that you start off at least by your second semester with some clear plans for what you want to do, where you want to go, and when you want to get there. So link out, use our career resources to get you started in building your pathway. Second, you'll find on our website, pathway maps for your career interests. So I encourage you to go out there, look at the program requirements, course information. We have this all built. I've put just a sample here of what one of those web pages looks like. This is our graphic and web design technology associate in science degree. You'll see it links you to an academic map that gives you suggested courses and what we think you should take and when. You can also view the plan in, in our catalog. And then this will help you understand what's required, career information, what is the job demand for that, how much is an average salary, and then start working through what you need to do along your pathway to keep on track. And number three, your, your responsibility along with us is to use the resources and the experiences that we have here to help you be successful. So owning your academic map, ensuring that you're enrolling in the right courses. If you're struggling in an area, using our learning commons, our library resources, um, our virtual tutoring and support, academic success coaches or academic advisors, and the list could go on and on and on. Um, we have invested lots of time and resources into making sure that we can help you with any barrier that you're having to getting your degree. So in conclusion, I just wanna say, we look forward to getting you on your path to success because TCC is here for you. And our best day is when we see you graduate and, and earn that credential moving on to your transfer institution or the job of your dreams. So thank you and we wish you all the best in your spring semester.